Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little vest for baby girls between three and six months old. Now, in this same tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the matching hat, this one here. It's very easy to make. Now, you can also make this little vest smaller or bigger from a newborn baby up to six years old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave you some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger. Also stay tuned, in another tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet the same little vest but I'm going to add sleeves so that we can turn this into a nice little sweater just like we did with this one here. This one is for little girls between three and four years old. I first showed you how to make the vest and then I showed you how to add the sleeves so that you can turn it into a nice little jacket. I also showed you how to crochet the matching little hat, this one here. Down here in the information box or at the end of the video, you'll see the links to these tutorials. Okay, so let's get started and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. This is the brand of yarn that I'm using. It's called Baby Shimmer DK by James C. Brett. This is in the color BS6. It's a light pink and I'm also going to use a little bit in white. Okay, so to begin, I have 58 chains. The stitch multiple to this base chain is multiples of four plus two. Now, this chain here is measuring about 25 centimeters, which is almost 10 inches. Okay, so to begin into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, I'm going to make a half double crochet. To make a half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook into the third chain, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, Insert your hook into the next chain, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. This is all I'm going to do for this first row. I'm just going to make one half double crochet on each one of the chains. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row and I have a total of 57 half double crochets, including the two chains here at the beginning. Now for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to make three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the fourth, two double crochets. The two chains never count as a stitch. Beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, into the next, that's two, into the next, that's three. Now into this fourth half double crochet, you're going to do two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue for this second row. You're going to repeat three double crochets, one, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this second row. Here at the end, I finish with four double crochets. We're always going to finish with four double crochets here at the end. And I have a total of 69 double crochets for this second row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. These two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this row, we're going to make four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. One and two. This is how you're going to continue for this third row. You're going to repeat four double crochets, one, two, three, four, and into the next two double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this third row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I have a total of 82 double crochets. Now here at the end, remember we always finish with these last four double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. In this fourth row, we're going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five double crochets, and into the next two double crochets. One, and two. This is how you're going to continue for this fourth row. You're going to repeat five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fourth row, you're going to have 95 double crochets. 
continue and I'll meet you here at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Here at the end, remember, we always finish with these last four double crochets. Now, for this row, I have a total of 95 double crochets. For the fifth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now, in this row, we're going to make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six double crochets and into the next two double crochets, one and two. This is how you're going to continue for this fifth row. You're just going to repeat six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and into the next two double crochets. At the end of this fifth row, we're going to have 108 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, finish this fifth row. I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now these three chains here counts as a double crochet. Now in this row, we're going to make V-stitches. Each one of these V-stitches is going to consist of a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So beginning into the third double crochet, one, two, three, I'm going to make a V-stitch. Skip one, two, and into the third, another V-stitch. Again, skip one, two, and into the third double crochet, one more V-stitch. This is how we're going to continue for this sixth row. We're just going to make these V-stitches. So continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I'm here at the end of this sixth row. I have a total of 35 V-stitches. Now to finish this row here, we're just going to go on top of the last double crochet and make a double crochet. And this is how I finish the sixth row. Now for the seventh row, chain three and turn. Now in this row, what we're going to do is each one of the V-stitches has two double crochets, one and two. We're going to work front post double crochets on each one of the double crochets. And inside the V-stitch, you're going to work a fan of two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. So let me show you. Front post double crochet into the first double crochet, a fan inside the chain two space, Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. Now again, front post double crochet into the next V-stitch, a fan inside the chain two space, and a front post double crochet. This is how you're going to work each one of the V-stitches, so continue and I'll meet you at the end of this seventh row. I'm here at the end of this seventh row. This is where we did these fans. Now I have a total of 35 fans, just like I did for the row of V-stitches. Now here at the end, we're always going to finish by making one last double crochet into the second chain here at the end. And that's how I finish the seventh row. Now for the eighth row, we're going to chain three and turn. In this row, we're going to repeat the row of V-stitches. So inside each one of the fans, you're going to make a V-stitch. So double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Jump to the next and do another V-stitch. This is all we're going to do for this eighth row. At the end of this eighth row, you're going to have 35 V-stitches. Continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this eighth row. In this row, we did V-stitches, and I have a total of 35 V-stitches. Now, to finish, remember that we always pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. Now, for the ninth row, we're going to chain three and turn. Now, in this row, we're going to repeat this row of fans. So, this first double crochet here, we're going to work a front post double crochet inside the chain two space of the first V-stitch, you're going to make a fan, two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet. Again, let me show you. Front post double crochet, a fan inside the chain two space, and 
and a front post double crochet. And this is all you're going to do for this ninth row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this ninth row. Okay, I finished the ninth row. Here at the end, all I did was just make one last double crochet. So I have a total of 35 fans in this ninth row and the yoke is done. Now, if you measure right across like this, it's measuring about 10 and a half centimeters, which is a bit over four inches. Now, what we're going to do is in the next row, we're going to divide the sleeves. So here I have placed my stitch markers. I have five fans here for the front panel. Then we're going to skip seven fans and then I have my next stitch marker. For the back side, this part here, I have 11 fans, and then again for the sleeve, I have seven fans, and then here in the front, five uh, fans for the front panel. So in the next row, we're going to start counting rows, and we have to do the row of V-stitches. So this is going to be the first row. So chain three, turn, and here we're going to make five V-stitches. So beginning into the first fan, you do your first V-stitch. Remember, it's a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. Same thing into the next fan. So this is two into the next. This is three into the next. This is four, and into this next one, another one. This is your fifth V-stitch. One, one, two, three, four, five. Now, into this same fan here, we're going to make one more V-stitch. So this last fan has two V-stitches. And that's two V-stitches. Now, to divide the sleeve, we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and into the eighth fan right here, we're going to make two V-stitches. That's one. And two. Now, you're going to continue along the back side and work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven V-stitches. Into this last one, we're going to do two. So continue, and I'll meet you right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these V-stitches here along the back. Now here we should have, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Thirteen V-stitches here for the back side. Now to divide the sleeve, we're going to skip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and into this eighth fan, you're going to do two V-stitches. That's one and two. Oops. Now you're going to finish by making these last four V-stitches and I'll meet you right here at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where we divided the sleeves and we did these V-stitches. You should have a total of 25 V-stitches for this first row. Now to finish, we're going to pinch the second chain here and make a double crochet. And this is how I finished the first row. Now for the second row, you're going to chain three and turn. Now in this row, we're going to repeat the row of fans. So beginning into this first V-stitch, the first double crochet, we work a front post double crochet. Inside this chain two space, you're going to make two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. and then a front post double crochet. Again, jump to the next V-stitch, work a front post double crochet, then in a fan inside the chain two space. And then a front post double crochet. This is how you're going to work each one of these V-stitches. So continue and I'll meet you at the end here of this second row. 
I'm here at the end of this second row. This is where we did these V stitches and I have a total of 25 V stitches. Now to finish this second row, you're just going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. In this row, we're going to make the V stitch row. So beginning into this first fan, you're going to do your first V stitch. Jump to the next one and do the same thing another V stitch that's two three four five six V stitches now, right here, right in the middle, right in the very center, right here, you're going to make two V stitches. So it's right in the middle between the first fan to the back and the last fan to the front panel. So right in the very middle, right here, you're going to do two V stitches. Here we're going to increase. So again, that's one and one more. So we're going to do two two V stitches. That's two right there. One and two. Now you're going to continue and work these V stitches for the back side. Then right here, right in the middle again, right before we finish under this sleeve here, you're going to do your two V stitches and then finish with these last six V stitches. I'll meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row and I have a total of 29 V stitches. Don't forget to do your increase here into this other side. So we did two V stitches here under the sleeve and then two V stitches here under the sleeve. So we added four extra V stitches in this row. So that makes a total of 29 V stitches. Now to finish, pinch the third chain, the second chain and make a double crochet. And this is how we finish the third row. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain three and turn. We're not going to make any more increases or anything here. So here in this row, we're just going to work this fan row in the same way that we always do. Into the first V stitch, work a front post double crochet. Then inside the chain two space, you work a fan. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and then a front post double crochet again into the first double crochet of this v-stitch work a front post double crochet inside the chain two space you make a fan and then a front post double crochet this is all we're going to do for this fourth row at the end of this fourth row we're going to have 29 fans continue and i'll meet you here at the end I'm here at the end of this fourth row. This is where we did these fans. Now to finish, we're just going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a double crochet. Now at the end of this row, you should have a total of 29 fans. From here on, we're going to just repeat these two rows, the row of fans and the next row, which is the V-stitch row. And at the end of every row from here on, you're either going to have 29 fans or 29 V-stitches. So to do the next row, row five, you're going to chain three and turn. So here we're going to do V stitches inside each one of these chain two space of each fan. You're going to do your V stitch. This is a very easy stitch. So this is all we're going to do from here on. Just repeat these two rows like this. Remember that each one of the V stitches consists of a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. And this is all you're going to do when you finish here. Don't forget to make a double crochet here at the end, chain three, and then repeat this row of fan. And you're going to finish with 29 fans or 29 V stitches, depending on which row you're in. Now, from here on, I'm just going to continue and work these two rows. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching and you'll see how many rows I'm going to do for this part. So I'll meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the 13th row. So from here where we divided the sleeves up to this row, there's 13 rows. This is where we divided. So this is, let's see, that's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 
4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. This row, I haven't completed the fan row, so this is what we're going to do next. So this would be row 14. Now, here to do this row, you're going to chain three and turn. And this fan here, instead of uh, doing two chains, we're going to do one chain. So work a front post, double crochet, then work your fan, but chain one instead of chain two, and then finish. And that's all. So these fans here, you're only going to chain one. Continue, finish this row, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished this last row. This is row 14 here at the end. I just finished by making my last double crochet. Now, I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through this last loop. So now with this uh, white color, I'm going to insert my hook here on top of this last double crochet that I did. Grab a loop, bring it through the front, chain one, and turn. Now this row here is optional, it's just a little border that I'm going to do. So into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now chain two, inside this chain one space of this first fan, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet, chain two, single crochet between these two fans right here, chain two, single crochet inside the chain one space of the next fan, three chains, single crochet, two chains, single crochet between the two fans. And this is all I'm going to do. So continue and let me at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this row. Now I have my last two chains to finish. We're just going to pinch the second chain here at the end and make a single crochet. Now we're going to make one more row. So chain one and turn. Now on top of this first single crochet, make a single crochet. Chain two, inside this chain three space, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet again, two chains, and then right in the middle where we have this single crochet, make a single crochet. Two chains, single crochet inside the chain three space, three chains, single crochet, two chains, and then again a single crochet where we have the single crochet, like this. And this is what it should look like. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end. This is what it looks like. Now to finish this, I have my last two chains and on top of this last single crochet, make a single crochet. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go here along the edge and we're going to make single crochets. Now, I like to do this part with a slightly bigger hook. So I'm going to switch to this four millimeter crochet hook. You can still do it with the same hook. The only thing is that you may need to add more stitches here. Now, this part here tends to um, shrink a little. So I, that's why I like to use a bigger hook. It helps um, with the shrinking part here. So now to start here, we're going to chain one and we're going to go into this single crochet space right there and make a single crochet single crochet into the next row and now we have either a double crochet or the three chains double crochet three chains so in the double crochet space we're going to do two single crochets in the chain three space you're going to make one again we have a double crochet so make two single crochets then one two and one and so on. This is how we're going to continue along the edge and that's what it should look like. So continue and let me to right about here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I have 37 single crochets along this side. Here in this row, half double crochets, I did two. And then in the row of chains up here, I did one. So you should have 37 single crochets. Now we're going to chain one and turn and here we're going to go back down and work single crochet. So beginning on top of the first single crochet, make a single crochet on top of the next single crochet and so on. Continue and I'll meet you here at the bottom to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the bottom now. We're going to chain one, turn, now in this row, what we're going to do is we're going to add buttonholes. I'm only going to add two. If you want to add more, you can. Now 
here on top of this first single crochet make a single crochet and then work your way up and make a total of 29 single crochets i'll meet you right about here to show you how we're going to make our first buttonhole okay i finished making my 29 single crochets now i have my first stitch marker you're going to chain one skip this single crochet and into the next make a single crochet single crochet into the next that's two three four five six chain one skip one single crochet and into the last single crochet make your last single crochet and this is how i just made my buttonholes now i'm going to be using these buttonholes here these are little lambs i'm going to measure these for you i already um, made sure that they do go through this chain one space that i did here so these little lambs here measure let's see from head to rump it's measuring about two and a half centimeters and it's about almost two centimeters from top to bottom so now you can also use these buttons here here these are let's see these are nine millimeter buttons and if you prefer you don't have to do the chain chain one space here because it might be too big of the space here so what you can do is just continue and work single crochets and you see this gap right in between that's where you can put these buttons like this since we're using a bigger hook the stitches are a bit bigger and see that works perfect so you can do the same thing you don't have to do the chain one space but rather just work your way up with single crochets now these again like i said these are nine millimeter buttons so you can use those okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to work single crochets around the neckline as well so here we're going to go into this last single crochet that i did and work a single crochet single crochet into the next row and then a single crochet into this first chain and then into each one of these chains make one single crochet like this so continue and I'll meet you here at this other side to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at this other side of the neckline. Now, for this part here, we're going to work single crochets just like we did on the other side, and we're going to do the exact same thing minus the buttonholes. So we're going to do three rows of single crochet. So beginning into this uh, row here, we're going to make two single crochets, then two again, and then one, and then two, then one, and two, and so on. Try to have the same number of single crochets as we did the other side, which is um, 37. So continue, work your way down. Here you're going to finish, chain one, turn, and then work your way up when you're done. Here at the top, you're going to chain one and turn, and then work your way down for your third row. I'll meet you at the end of the third row. Okay, I finished making this last row. Here at the end, all I did was just cut my yarn and pass my yarn through this last loop, and my little vest is done, and this is what it looks like. Now, in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add sleeves, so stay tuned for that. Now, in this same tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the matching little beret hat, so continue watching and you'll see that next, and then I'll come back and give you the measurements to our little vest, and then show you the finished baby hat. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this number three baby yarn. You can also use any DK weight yarn. Now, it's the same yarn that I used to make the little vest or the little sweater. So here to begin, I have eight chains. Into the second chain from the hook, I'm going to make a single crochet. Here, what we're going to do is the brim. Now into the next chain, you're going to do the same thing, and into each one of the chains, you're just going to make single crochets like this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven single crochets, turn and chain one. 
Now, here what we're going to do is we're going to make single crochets, but we're only going to go through the back loop. So beginning into this first single crochet, insert your hook through the back loop and make your first single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now turn, chain one, and repeat the same thing. Through the back loop of the first single crochet, make your first single crochet and continue doing the same thing. Now, I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do. This is going to be the brim, like I said, but continue watching and I'll let you know how many rows I have done. So I'll see you at the end of that row. Okay, I finished making my brim. I did a total of 78 rows, and this here is measuring about 34 centimeters, which is about 13 and a half inches. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to join both ends, and to do this, we're just going to insert our hook here into this first stitch and grab this loop. Bring it through the front, chain one, and into this same stitch here, insert your hook, and through the first single crochet in the back, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Now insert your hook into the next stitch and into the second single crochet here in the back, grab a loop and make a slip stitch. This is how we're going to join, so continue. No meet you once this part here is done. Okay, I finished joining both ends and this is what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make half double crochets here along the edge. So to do this, we're going to chain one here and to make our first half double crochet, we're going to go here into this first row. For each one of the rows, we're going to do one half double crochet, then into the third row, we're going to do two half double crochets. So we're going to increase here. So yarn over, insert your hook into this first row right here, grab a loop, three loops on the hook, close. Here's the first half double crochet. Into the next row, right along the very edge, insert your hook, grab a loop and make your next half double crochet. Yarn over again and into the next row right here, make two half double crochets. So every three rows we're going to increase. So we're going to make two half double crochets. Now again, into the next row, make one half double crochet, into the next one half double crochet, and into the next, which is the third row, make two half double crochets. One and two. This is all I'm going to do for this part here, so continue, and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of half double crochets. Now, up to here, I have a total of 104 half double crochets. Make sure that you finish with an increase here. So now, to finish, we're going to go here to the side where I have the chain and join with a slip stitch. Now I've cut my yarn, so I'm just going to pass my yarn through this. Now what I'm going to do is insert your hook into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch. If you're not changing color, then all you have to do is just chain one. Now grab this loop with this pink color. This is the same yarn that I used to make the little, uh, little um, jacket or the little vest. So just chain one here. Now. We're going to skip one, two, three, and into the fourth half double crochet, which is this one here, we're going to make a front post double crochet. Now, in between these two half double crochets, right there, you're going to make a fan. Your fan is going to consist of two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Now into the next half double crochet, which is this one here, make a front post double crochet. And here's the first fan. Again, skip three half double crochets, one, two, three, and into this fourth half double crochet, work a front post double crochet in between these two. This is where we did the front post double crochet and then we have the next half double crochet. So right in the middle, you're going to insert your hook and make your fan. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. And then 
a front post double crochet into the next half double crochet like this again skip one two three and into the fourth make a front post double crochet right in the middle between these two make your fan and then a front post double crochet into the next half double crochet again skip one two three and into the fourth half double crochet work a front post double crochet right in the middle between these two work a fan and then a front post double crochet into the next half double crochet and this is all we're going to do for this first row to our pattern stitch so continue and i'll meet you here at the end of this row i'm here at the end of this first row to our pattern stitch this is where we did these fans now to finish here i only have four stitches left one two three four four half double crochets now what i'm going to do is to make this last fan i'm going to skip one two and into the third and fourth is where i'm going to do this last fan so work a front post double crochet here and inside work your fan now and and into this last half double crochet work your front post double crochet and now I have 21 fans now you can easily adjust this hat to make it for any size you can just do the same thing I did here I just I adjusted my stitches here at the end now to finish here we're just going to join to the side of this chain and make a slip stitch now for the second row we're going to make three slip stitches one two three so your first slip stitch is into the first double crochet slip stitch into the second inside the chain two space a slip stitch again now chain four and inside this space here make a double crochet in this row what we're going to do are v stitches so into the next fan work a double crochet two chains double crochet jump to the next one and do another v stitch these are the two rows that we're going to repeat from here on so continue and finish this row of v-stitches and i'll meet you here at the end okay i'm here at the end of this second row this is where we did v-stitches and i have a total of 21 v-stitches now to finish we're going to pinch here the second chain one two three or actually the third chain or you can just go inside here and join with a slip stitch i think i'm going to pinch the third chain now this is how i finish this second row now in the third row we're going to repeat this row of fans so you're going to chain one and here right there into these three chains work a front post double crochet inside this chain one space make your fan two double crochets two chains two double crochets and then a front post double crochet into this next double crochet now for each one of the v-stitches you're going to do the following you're going to work a front post double crochet into this first double crochet of this v-stitch inside the chain two space you're going to make your fan and then a front post double crochet this is all we're going to do for each one of the v-stitches so continue and i'll meet you here at the end I'm here at the end of this third row this is where we did these fans now from here on these are the two rows that we're going to repeat this row of v-stitch and the row of fans now to finish this row all you're going to do is just go here to the side where we have the chain and join with a slip stitch now to make your next row which is the v-stitch row you're going to make three slip stitches so make a slip stitch on top of the next double crochet a slip stitch into the next and a slip stitch inside the chain two space now once here chain four and into the same space make a double crochet now inside each one of the fans you're going to make your v-stitch remember that your v-stitch consists of a double crochet two chains double crochet jump to the next one and do the same thing another v-stitch this is all i'm going to do for this 
third row, which is the V-stitch row. Once I'm done, I'm just going to join here to the side or just insert your hook here and join with a slip stitch, then chain one and repeat this row of fans. These are the two rows that you're going to repeat from here on. I'm not exactly sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching and you'll see how many rows I'm going to do exactly. So I'll see you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the seventh row. So in total, I have done seven rows. We have two, four, six, seven rows. Now, my last row here is the row of fans. So in the next row, row the row of V-stitches, we're going to start to reduce the crown of the hat. So right now, as it is, let me measure it for you. It's measuring about almost five inches, which is about 12 centimeters. Now, like I said, what we're going to do next is the V-stitch row. So I'm inside this first fan. Now chain three, make a double crochet. Jump to the next fan and do two double crochets. So this is where we're going to change the V-stitches. We're not going to make any chains in between. So you're, all you're going to do is just two double crochets. Continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this eighth row. I'm here at the end of this eighth row. This is where we did these two double crochets inside each one of these fans. Now, here to finish, just go here to the side and join with a slip stitch. So now for the ninth row, we're going to chain one and right here where we have these chains, we're going to work our first front post double crochet. Now, in the middle between these two stitches, I'm going to make a double crochet, one chain, double crochet. So here we're going to change the stitch and now a front post double crochet. Again into the next, a front post double crochet in the middle, double crochet, one chain, double crochet, and then a front post double crochet. This is all we're going to do for this row, so continue and I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this ninth row. Now to finish, just go here to the side where we have the chain and join with a slip stitch. Now for the 10th row, we're going to make two slip stitches. So make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet and a slip stitch inside the chain one space. Now here, chain two, and inside each one of these fans or the chain one space of each one, you're going to do a double crochet. This is all we're going to do here for this row. So continue, work one double crochet inside each one of the fans and I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm here at the end of this 10th row. This is where we did one double crochet inside each one of the fans. Now here to finish, just go here to the side or pinch the second chain and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this row. Now chain two and into the next double crochet, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook into the next, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, repeat the same thing into the next two stitches. And this is all I'm going to do for this last row. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Okay, I'm here at the end to finish. I'm just going to go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. And this part here is done. Now I'm going to pull this loop here and then I'm going to tie a little knot here. I've already cut my yarn. We're going to pass our yarn through this needle like this and then we're going to weave this yarn around this last row. So on each one of the stitches, you're just going to insert your needle through. Now insert this yarn through this little hole and we're going to turn this like this. Now pull your yarn so that this little hole closes. Perfect. Now with this little loop that we did, we're just going to tie it here. And this part here is done. Now, let me show it to you. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. Look at that, and it's done. A little beret hat or a little hat is done to match the little vest or the little jacket. And that's what it looks like. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add a pump on. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you the finished um, hat. 
Okay, so here's my finished little beret hat or little hat. It's all done. I added my little pompon. Now, I already have a tutorial on how to make pompons. So down here in the information box, I'll leave you a link on how to do that. So be, be sure to check that out. This is what it looks like from the inside. Our little beret hat is done so that it matches our little vest here. Now, let me give you the finished measurements to our little vest. Let's see. From the top of the neckline, down to the last row, it's measuring about 31 centimeters, which is about a little bit over 12 inches. Now, here for the waist, it's about, let's see, it's about 24 and a half centimeters, just the top, and from here to the end here, right across the, the yoke here. It's measuring about 12 centimeters, which is almost five inches. So based on these measurements, this little, vest, this little vest here is for babies between three and six months old, just like the little hat that I just did. Now, in another tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to make the same little vest, but we're going to add sleeves so that we can make this into a nice little jacket as well. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.